okay uh, last week uh, we were, we were discussing up to uh, output devices uh, output devices uh, we can uh, separate them in uh, different uh, categories right so today i'm going to discuss about uh, printers we we have discussed the printers also earlier but uh, we can divide printers into two two categories that is impact printers and non impact printers right? impact printers and non impact so when you take impact printers means actually uh, when we are using impact printers uh, while they are printing it uh, actually it uh, produce uh, big sound and uh, it is the printing speed is slow right so uh, and the quality of the printout also less we, we can't actually we can't print photos and all that we can't take the color printouts most of the time we have now if you take for example dot matrix printer dot matrix so we have small ribbon is there small ribbon is there uh, whatever the color of the ribbon will be printed as example now uh, when it is printing through the dot matrix printer there's a ribbon like this then suppose you have the this board will take as a paper so you have a kind of a uh, pins so thousands of pins are there when that pin is touching the uh, this uh or that is a ribbon the ribbon will be uh, touching the paper and it will create a small dot small dot like that this kind of so many thousands of dots are created very closely and create whatever the uh, picture or the image or the letter right so that's how it works line print also same way so those are called impact impact means they are they are striking they are striking right but when you take non impact you have uh, laser printers are there uh ink jet or bubble jet is there thermal printers are there so they are not producing any sound uh, when we are using this type of printers quality is high then we can take the color printouts even dot matrix you can't take color printouts laser ink jet thermal uh, sometimes you, you can take uh, laser even nowadays it's possible uh, taking the color printout earlier it was not uh, in jet usually we are using to take the color printouts so uh, laser you are using some kind of a toner toner it's uh, it's like in a photocopy machine kind of a dust is uh, there inside the toner so it is uh, pasting whatever the uh, printouts and like whatever we are taking it will paste according to our design and uh, Inkjet, there is a cartridge, ink cartridge are there. So they are spraying the ink. After spraying, that will be printed. Thermal also using the heat, right? So this kind of print uh, are called non -impact. These are called impact printers, right? There are line printers, is there line? And daisy wheel is there, right? Okay, uh, write down like this. Write down, write down in a new paragraph printers can be printers can be divided into two categories printers can be divided into two categories printers can be divided into two categories okay yeah write down Impact printer and the other side non impact printers. Impact printers and non impact printers. They are right down uh, under impact printers, under impact printers. Make big noise when it is printing. 
make big noise when it is printing. And in fact, I try down uh, no noise, like less less noise. No, no, we can't tell exactly no noise, less noise. Then in fact, I printing speed is low. Printing speed is low. Other side you can write printing speed is high. Printing speed is high. Another one you can take impact printers, right? Impact side. Uh, quality of the printouts is low. Quality of the printouts. Quality of the printout uh, is low. Uh, here, non impact quality of the printouts are high. Quality of the printouts are high. Uh, then uh, write down some examples here. I have given dot matrix line printer, this way for the impact printers. Laser printer, you can write laser inkjet and the When we take the maintenance of these uh, things like impact printers, our uh, maintaining cost is low because uh, these uh, ribbons you can buy like uh, around uh, less than thousand rupees. But when you take the laser toners and the uh, original cartridge, you have to uh, pay more than that, more than thousand, two thousand cartridges are expensive than this thing. So when you take, but uh, the printer uh, printers. Printer price is high when you take the impact printers. Non impact printers are uh, like printer, printer price is low. There are some printer like 3000, but when it comes to the cartridge, it is sometimes it is uh, expensive than the printer, even right? So that's there. Okay, then we'll see now those are the uh, output devices we discussed. Then uh, write down the topic uh, central processing unit. Central processing unit. Central processing unit. So when you are talking about central processing unit to the CPU, right? CPU or central processing unit. We have already discussed that one. Inside the CPU, you have different types of parts. That is ALU, arithmetic and logic unit, control unit, and memory registers are there, right? So uh, we have already discussed them, but uh, here also we'll uh, touch that. When you take the central processing unit, uh, you have different uh, the processor, or the, we call it as processor. Processors have, has uh, different types of speed. So this is speed is measured by either hertz, uh, kilohertz, megahertz, or gigahertz, right? So that is speed is uh, using the hertz like like this. Hertz, kilohertz even you can use. Megahertz are using. Or gigahertz are using. So nowadays, nowadays we are using this gigahertz to measure the speed of the processor, right? 
Okay, write down under CPU or central processing unit. Let that write down. Central processing unit or CPU is CPU is, uh, CPU works like a brain. Works like a brain of the computer. It has it has three main parts. Three main parts. First one uh, first one control unit. Control unit. In front of write down, in front of write down, control all devices of the computer system. Controls all devices of a computer system. Then second one, arithmetic and logic unit in the short form we tell. ALU, Arithmetic and Logic Unit, ALU. Arithmetic and Logic Unit, ALU. In front of write down, perform all mathematical and Perform all mathematical and logical functions. Perform all mathematical and logical functions. Third one, memory registers. Number registers. In front of write down, store data temporarily, store data temporarily, store data, data. store data temporarily, which are needed to ALU and result produced by the and result produced by the Can you repeat? Yeah, temp uh, yeah, store temporary data uh, which is need to ALU and is needed to ALU and result produced by result produced by ALU With that the speed of the central processing unit, speed of the central processing unit, is known as clock speed. Is known as clock speed. And, me and measured by the and measured by the
following units. Okay, take down this uh, hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, this system. Take it down. Hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, and gigahertz. Right? Okay, we'll go to a question. I'll write down like this. Complete, complete the following table. Complete the following table using the given list. Using the given list. in the given list okay take this down there are uh, several uh, devices and you have to uh, separate them to the pointing device now these all these uh, devices uh, input devices pointing devices image and video input devices and scans right take this down in the book and uh, i want you to uh, upload your answers to that my uh, Padlet uh, site, I will uh, share the link with you. I will. So should we write the uh, list? Uh, no need to write the list, but uh, for, uh, in the table you have to uh, separately you have to put them correctly. Yeah? Okay, sir. I will send the Padlet link to you. Yeah, these are your answers, Kavin. Uh, This is Chalani's one. Small, small differences are there. The digital camera input device? Yes, it is an input device. Uh, and the thing is now, if you have a screen with the digital camera, you can take it as an input and output. But in this uh, situation, we have to take it as an input device. OK, sir. Uh, Okay, uh, here mouse, I will take the Chinese one. Mouse, touchpad, touchscreen, joystick, and light pen. Uh, those are the input devices, yes. Output, uh, in image, video input device, that is pointing device, digital camera, web camera, and CCTV. Then scanners, flatbed scanner, barcode, magnetic ink. Optical character recognition, optical mark, OMR, OCR. That uh, in the list they have given, I have given there, automated telemachine, even, right? So automated telemachine also input device, right? So here we can't take them to the pointing device or image and video input device. So because of that, we'll take it as a scanner, type of a scanner. Uh, because it is uh, checking your details actually. So we'll take uh, 
it, it is an input device doesn't matter and you have to take it as a out of uh, in this category we have to uh, put it to the scanner side scanner side okay uh, because when we insert whatever the uh, card it will check all these details our details our name everything is taken after giving our uh, whatever the pin code so it comes under scan a scanning device in this situation right okay i'll give you another question I'll give you another question so you have to uh, complete this diagram Try to do without referring the nodes. I down like a question. Complete the below diagram. Complete the below diagram. That the question. Complete the below diagram. Okay, I have shared the screen. So this is the diagram. You draw this in your book and uh, try to uh, fill these blank boxes. Try to fill them and send your answers through the same link. Same link. And I can check it. Okay, we'll start. You see the answer. Uh, soft copy. I'll take the I'll share your answers. Uh, this is Okay, uh, whose answer is this? Ah, okay, Chamar has said. Uh, Avin is still didn't send, no? Okay. Take hey, Chinese one. Soft copy, hard copy, and sounds are there. Copy hard copy and sound okay. Then uh, soft copy monitor. You can uh, CRT, LCD, and LED. Then multimedia projector you can take. In hard copy printers, you can again divide it into two impact printers and non impact printers. In the, inside the impact printer, you can write line printer, daisy wheel, dot matrix, right? Any, any two non impact laser, inkjet, thermal, any two. And the sound you can take is speakers. Speakers are the right. Okay, then uh, we'll go to the next part. So we were discussing up to uh, input and output devices. Then write down the topic computer memory. Computer memory. on the topic computer memory so uh, when you take the memory 
we can divide it into two. That is main memory. Main, no, we can tell there's another word, primary. Primary memory. Then second one, secondary. Secondary memory. Oh, auxiliary. Auxiliary memory. So there are the same type of words are there, right? So when you take again, main memory means actually it is inside the computer. It is inside the computer most of the time. But uh, secondary memory outside the computer most of the time. But there are some secondary memory which is inside the computer also, right? So this main memory you can categorize. Again, now when you take uh, main memory, we have uh, temporary and uh, temporary memory. These are, these are actual temporary memories. But uh, there are something called RAM, random access memory and ROM. Other than that, you have cache memory registers also there, right? But we are basically, basically in your syllabus, we are dividing like this, right? We are dividing like this, but we have registers and uh, cache memories also. I will give that part when, when I'm discussing. So when, this, when you take the main memory, RAM, I think you all have heard about RAM, right? RAM means random access memory, stand for random access memory. Now suppose uh, you have a memory like this RAM. There are 4 GB RAM, 8 GB, 16 like that goes, right? So whatever the program, currently working program, currently working program will be loaded here. As example, as soon as you switch on the computer, when you switch on the computer, your operating system, operating system will be loaded even you without your knowledge. When you, you are not opening it separate, you are just switching on the computer. But your operating system, Windows, it can be Windows, Mac OS, Linux, whatever it is, it will be loaded to your file. Then whatever the programs you are opening, suppose you open uh, Word, is coming like this. Then uh, Photoshop. Whatever you are opening, it will be coming to the front. But if you try to open so many programs that uh, which cannot, um, which is exceed at your RAM capacity, then uh, most of the time your computer will get stuck. Right? So that is a one reason to get the computer stuck. That is one reason. There, there may be some, so many reasons, right? So that is called RAM. So, so this is a temporary memory. As soon as the power goes, whatever the details, whatever the data inside the RAM will be vanished, right? So suppose you were playing a, a, a what is called a game or oh, whatever the song, right? So uh, if you don't have UPS, as soon as you, uh, it, it, if it is not uh, automatically saved, uh, usually this uh, Word and Excel, those are automatically saved. So other, other things, uh, it won't uh, work. So uh, whatever the song will be, whatever data will be erased. So when you, when you next time, when you switch on the computer, it is not playing from the place where you have stopped, when the power goes, right? So it is going from the beginning. So that means whatever inside the RAM will be, Bench. When you take a ROM, read only memory is called, uh, stands for read only memory. So it keeps uh, this uh, BIOS and Bootstrap loader, these programs inside the ROM. Even uh, now you have seen when you switch on the computer, this uh, black color, in the, in, inside the black color screen, white, uh, white color letters are going like some uh, Kind of settings things are like uh, versions those stuffs are going about hardware and all that some numbers and all that so all these stuffs are inside the room so it is a permanent memory even the power goes nothing will happen but it's inside the room right it is a permanent memory now this is temporary this is permanent when it comes to secondary memory you have uh, three types actually Magnetic media is there, optical media is there, solid state is there. Right? So we will be discussing them later. So hard disk, CD, DVD, then uh, 
pen drives, whatever, drugs are coming under secondary memory. They are permanent. They are permanent memory. So even the power goes, nothing will happen to this stuff, right? Okay, uh, write down under memory. There is a computer memory. Under that, write down. Computer memory can be computer memory can be divided into divided into different categories different categories as follows as follows take this down Take this down. I will explain one by one later. First, you take it down. Now, now these words also I give because some I have seen some, in some papers they are not telling secondary memory. They are telling auxiliary memory. So you will be getting like confused. We haven't uh, learned such a memory. We have learned up to maintain secondary memory, but there are some similar words. That's why I wrote. Uh, take it down. Okay, uh, uh, third one, Chamara, this is a uh, solid state. Solid state. Solid state. Okay, uh, we'll write down uh, in a new paragraph. Uh, subtopic, put a subtopic, primary memory, primary memory. And I, I want to tell you, this uh, RAM is, I told it's a temporary memory, there's a uh, good word for that, that is called volatile memory, volatile. From me, I told it's a permanent, that is called non-volatile, non-volatile. And uh, 
This actual main memory can be uh, accessed by the processor even, right? But uh, we have in between we have registers and cache memories, right? To so them only now they are accessing the RAM, but uh, can access, but the speed is less than the cache memory and all that. I'll explain that later. Uh, write down a topic. Primary memory. Sir, primary, primary memory? Yes. Or main memory. Both both words are okay. Main memory or primary memory. Can use both the word. Huh? Okay, under that write down. Primary memory is a memory. Primary memory or oh, main memory is a memory that can be accessed by the that can be accessed by the CPU directly. CPU directly. Primary memory can be divided. Primary memory can be divided. as follows first one random access memory or ram random access memory we uh, tell it as ram uh, and then write down Currently working programs. Sir, uh, in front of that? Yes, uh, under that, under random access memory. Currently working programs. Currently working programs. Will be stored. Will be stored inside this This is a temporary memory. This is a temporary memory. Within bracket put volatile. Within bracket put volatile. V O L A T I L E volatile. That means that means we 
data is stored in RAM. That means data stored in, in RAM. will be deleted will be deleted when the computer is switch off Please switch off. Ram can do Ram can do both read and write functions. Both read and write functions. both read and write functions so that means uh, we uh, can uh, write the data to the ram and can read data from the ram that's so called read and write both the functions can be done the both yeah. read and write uh, functions right. so ram can do both the read and write functions the okay, second one write down read only memory rom Read only memory ROM. Read only memory ROM. ROM, when you take ROM, that is read only memory, it is only reading. Can We cannot write, write data that is uh, written, written by the company actually. So when, when we are getting the computer, uh, that motherboard, the motherboard, it is coming. So we can't do anything. Uh, there are some uh, type of ROMs are there, programmable ROM, uh, uh, pro electrically programmable, uh, rewritable ROMs are there, but usually, what we are getting uh, normal normal computers we have rom that is read only memory it is only reading not writing anything right and that and it is a permanent memory it's a permanent memory write down read only memory or rom is a rom is a permanent memory rom is a permanent memory within bracket put non volatile non volatile non-volatile and whatever the data and whatever the data will remain permanently will remain permanently Even the computer is switch off. Even the computer is switch off. Even the computer is switch off. All the commands, all the commands, Required for booting up a computer. Required for booting up a computer. Ah, I stored in ROM. So I 
actually whatever the data put in data bios actually at, uh, i when i'm i was discussing i told those are the bios program that's done by the computer manufacturing companies they are sending us uh, after programming those uh, rows right then there's another one uh, which is not in a part of that uh, diagram but i told that there's something called cache memory cache memory uh, if i explain that it's like this uh, now you have uh, ram so usually from the secondary memory secondary that is a hard disk and all that you have ram then you have cpu central processing unit also there that is the uh, you need that uh, all the processing part is done there in between you have cache memory cache memory right so what is happening actually uh, ram can be uh, read by the cpu doesn't matter but nowadays we have something called cache memories in between ram and the cpu right inside the cpu you have registers also right so why we need cache because it is very fast reading from the cache memory than reading from the ram right now as example i am uh, say suppose uh, so many students are there say in in uh, school uh, 50 students are there i want to get some like uh, oh, whatever the pen we'll take as example i want to ask for a pen but i am asking from the first row student because i can get it quickly uh, rather than asking from the last row student right same way here cpu is taking the data from the cache memory it is fast uh, from where the cache memory is getting the data from the RAM. So when the CPU is asking data, cache memory is giving data, but he is taking from the RAM. He is taking from the RAM, right? And uh, when when it is like uh, if becoming empty, he is taking the data, and whatever the data is giving to uh, writing to RAM also coming through the cache. Memory. So this cache memory, you can have different types of cache memories are there. Level 1, level 2, and level 3, even cache memories are there. Anyway, usually level 1 and level 2 are there inside the CPU. Inside the CPU, but I uh, threw here because I want to explain that. Inside the CPU, you can find them like the registers. You have cache memories. But level 3 cache memories are there on uh, your motherboard, right? So uh, by having the cache memory, your CPU efficiency and the speed will become fast. And more efficiency if you have the, this kind of cache memory. And it is also a temporary memory. I mean, whatever data inside the uh, this one will be vanished when the power goes. And uh, what we discussed earlier, inside the CPU, you have a small memory called register that is also temporary memory. When the power goes, it will be, whatever the data will be vanished, right? But they are fast, they are fast than the RAM, than the RAM. If you talk about the memory hierarchy and all that, uh, registers has the fastest memory, then cache memory, then only, RAM is coming, then only RAM is coming, right? So the, these are the fastest uh, registers and cache, right? So uh, that's why we, we nowadays we are having cache, where now when you are buying the computer, and now usually you are checking the uh, capacity of RAM, capacity of hard disk, those stuff. But uh, in their specification, they are telling how much cache memory is available. If it is bit large but bit large in sense you are getting uh, through not gbs you are getting through mbs that is megabyte 2 megabyte 4 8 60 like that you are getting cache memory so it, that that one also if it is big means that you can keep some more data means uh, fast right so next time when you are checking the specification of computer you can check them also cache memory also they are giving right okay uh, write down that is a uh, third one 
Yes, uh, we were talking about main memory. That is, uh, RAM we discussed, ROM we discussed. Okay, third one, write down cache memory. C-A-C-H-E, cache memory. They are write down. Cache memory act as a cache memory act as a mediator. Mediator can be a mother in a can be a other man. You can be a mediator between CPU and the RAM or between CPU and primary memory. Between CPU and RAM. This is fast and this is fast and small memory, small memory. Is it faster than uh, what I told? Faster and small, fast small memory. Yeah, small memory. Uh, uh, data which are needed. Data which are needed. Which are needed. Needed uh, CPU, CPU, which are needed CPU frequently, which are needed uh, CPU frequently. I stored here. I stored here. CPU is checking data. CPU is checking data. From the cache memory. From the cache memory. And when the cache memory is getting empty, and when the cache memory is getting empty, it takes data from the RAM or primary memory. It takes data from the RAM or primary memory. Seven. The catch uh, memory getting data. Uh, getting empty. Getting empty. It takes uh, data from primary or uh, RAM or primary memory. Getting empty. Yeah, when it is getting empty. So when the cache yes. memory is getting empty, it takes data from primary or RAM. RAM or primary memory. Am I fast? Very. Uh, which are needed to CPU? Which are needed to CPU? There are different. There are different. Levels of cache memory. There are different levels of cache memory.
and usually level 1 and level 2 cache memories are and usually level 1 and level 2 cache memories are level 1 and level 2 cache memories are available inside the cpu available inside the cpu available inside the cpu and level 3 cache memories are available in and level 3 cache memories are available in motherboard so it is separately available in motherboard Right. Okay. Uh, then write down the topic. Secondary memory. Secondary memory. Oh, that's another word. Auxiliary memory. Secondary memory. I think I uh, earlier also I discussed that. We have three different types magnetic media, optical media, solid state media. So when you take hard disk floppy, floppy disk, magnetic tape, so these are coming under magnetic media. So they are using magnetic fields to store data. So that is the mechanism they are using. When you take optical media, you get CDs, DVDs, and all that. They are reading the data through those uh, UV rays and all that. Uh, and uh, keeping the right in the data and reading the data both. Then uh, solid state means they have electronic uh, kind of a circuit where if you remove the casing of a, what is called a pen drive. You can see there's a small circuit, right? So that circuit is used to store it, right? So, that's, so that is solid state. So those are the three different types. Okay, uh, we'll write down under that uh, secondary memory. On the secondary memory, write down. Secondary memory is a or secondary storage is a so these, these are coming under storage device. Huh? We discuss input devices, output devices like that. These are storage device. Secondary storage, uh, storage or secondary memory. Secondary storage. Yes, right. I used to store data. I used to store data permanently, permanently, in 
most of them are external storage most of them are external storage there are internal also but most of them are external storage so uh, if if you tell this uh, permanent means non volatile that is the same word you can use here uh, uh okay uh, most of the mic size storage these can be categorized as can be categorized as first one magnetic media magnetic media in front of the write down data is stored here data is stored by using magnetic fields data is stored by using magnetic fields data is used uh, stored uh, using magnetic field example put hard disk floppy disk hard disk floppy flo double p by floppy disk zip disk is a dip is a dip zip disk jas j a double is a j a double is a jas disk magnetic tapes magnetic tapes uh, in the banks you can see these magnetic tapes magnetic tapes second one optical media optical media in front of write down reading and writing data reading and writing data reading and writing data is done by using laser beams is done by using laser beams for example cd rom that is free cd that you can uh, only once it uh, read you should uh, to read read uh, cd rom the cd uh, r r means uh, uh, can read many times but can write also one time cdr cd rw rw means read write can be uh, uh, read then write I down a uh, solid state drive so optical i think you wrote uh, cd dvd dvd r uh, blu rays right the r means read r w means read write that means uh, several times you can read and write again that means erasing and rewriting then uh, third one solid state here yeah, right down no uh, in this uh, devices in the in this devices you don't get any moving parts you don't get any moving parts and it contains 
and it contains electronic circuit electronic circuit to store data electronic circuit to store data can read and write many times without any problem can read and write many times without any problem for example uh, pen drive that is flash drive usb flash drive or usb pen drive memory cards memory cards okay then write down a topic there are computers what in ssd what me yeah yeah ssd and this uh, portable hard also coming under this okay sir. then write down computer ports computer ports i think uh, that they, that they also i um, show this part right so these are the computer ports when you take computer ports why need, why we need the, these computer ports we have different uh, now if you uh, look at this uh, motherboard this these ports actually these all the these ports are called this this is on board on board in the sense they are connected directly to the uh, motherboard they are directly connected to the motherboard they are connected uh, to the uh, motherboard directly so that is on board if something happened to this part if something happened to this part your whole motherboard you have to replace right that's, that's the problem in on board on board this uh, this motherboard is this devices uh, this uh, ports all these cards uh, this vga everything is on board that means you, if something happened to this suppose this is the vga you can see there's no vga card here i don't know whether you have seen there are different cards vga card separate card like ram card like different not like the ram but kind of a separate card you can remove it uh, is coming for vga sounds and all that but here this is on board that's why you don't get a card here but you you are getting all the ports here right this on board if something happened you have to repair this mother right so why we need this uh ports to connect external devices now suppose you want to connect uh keyboard and mouse using that now i think you can see these colors this is magenta and magenta this is green green for uh, mouse this for key but the thing is uh, this these are called ps2 port ps2 but you don't get them uh, at the moment this is a vga port here blue color one i don't know whether it's clear right uh, now but the, here you have four ports are there that's usb that's why i told you don't get this ps2 and all that at the moment everything is coming as usb port right here you have network port uh, that is so you can connect a network cable you have sound ports here okay right so different ports are available and uh, nowadays we are using usb port for everything right so all the all the type of uh, devices are coming uh, they are using usb port other than the VG, VG, we have different one called HDMI that is uh, uh, usually uh, with the VGA port, normal VGA port, we can get the visuals on. But if you are using a HDMI one, you can get visual, audio and video both, right? So that's the advantage. And, uh, other, most of the other things can be replaced with the USB port. 
So USB port is giving power most of the time. There now, if you take speakers, there are some speakers USB. You don't want to give separate power for the speakers. It is taken from uh, through that uh, USB port, right? So that kind of things are there. Okay. Uh, so we'll uh, stop for the day. We'll discuss the. Uh, we'll continue the next part. Uh, next the things uh, from next week.